As we get ready for summer, the season can bring a variety of unwelcome guests, pesky bugs and other pests. Joining us live to talk about how to prevent these critters from wreaking havoc in our homes and in our gardens is Jesse Cuellar with John Moore Services. Good morning. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Uh, I know last week making headlines the first mosquito in Harris County to test positive for West Nile virus. Talk to us. Talk to us about ways we can protect ourselves. So one of the things you want to do around structures of the property is to pay attention to where there's a lot of excessive standing water, mm -hmm. especially some of our homeowners that have bird baths on the yard. Mm -hmm. You want to empty out those bird baths, get rid of that excessive water, keep the grass cut very low, pay attention to the shrubs, pay attention to up against the foundation mm -hmm. because that's where they can lay their eggs at. Yeah. What about fountains? I know we're, 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 we're often talking about standing water, but fountains that have a percolator or, or movement, are they okay? They are not. That's more They're of an attractant. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's more of an attractant. That's just more for them to lay their eggs. Mm -hmm. Once those eggs are laid, you can lay up to 100 or more plus. And then within those 24, 48 hours, those eggs will hatch. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. What a mess. Yeah, very much of a mess. And then children, yeah. family members that come Pets, over, yeah. everyone's going to get stung. And so, and ways to do that is to also, they can do a a lot of do-it-yourself applies, such as oils, candles, mm -hmm. to help mitigate that problem. Uh, centronella, lavender, rosemary, lemongrass, things like that. Okay. Uh, we are talking about the outside. We've got that sort of covered. Let's talk about the actual home in, inside. Absolutely. Uh, maintenance to, to ensure that we can stay safe from these, these critters inside. Making sure that all open entry points are sealed up completely. Uh, your doorways, if there's any type of screening, a good screen door, things like that to keep all that airway out, things that are attracted to mm -hmm. them as they'll find that airway in to get inside that structure. And if you got any type of organic decomposing material within drains, things like that, that is an attractant. Yeah. So that's where they will also lay their larvae as well. Okay. Talk to us about having a conversation with pest control. One, if you do have pest control and you're already, you know, sort of treating these these types of issues, uh, how, what should that conversation look like? Should we talk to our pet con pest controls about what it is that they're treating for and if we want something else treated? Talk to us about that. You would definitely want to have a good, strong mosquito pest control program that's combined together just because of the EPA registered chemicals that they use mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. dissect for each one. But you definitely want to let your provider know where the hot spots are within okay. the interior and exterior of the home. And then for them to come out there and do those spot treatments and then keep a good quarterly or monthly service with that provider. But most importantly, just keep them in detail, yeah. keep them informed so they can come in between services. And then keeping them up to date, keeping yourself up to date will hopefully Absolutely. make a big difference. Absolutely. It doesn't hurt for the homeowners to do their research, to yeah. see what's out there, see what's available, mm -hmm. but definitely keep everything protected at that chemical barrier. Okay. Jesse Cuellar with John Moore. Thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you very much. Appreciate your time this morning. Yep.